Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk. In this showcase tips and tricks, I want to show you how to use 3D Trigger to trigger your animation while in presentation mode. 3D Triggers add interactive control and annotation to your scene while in presentation mode and can be linked together to cause many items to change or activate at once. A trigger makes a specific object in your scene clickable if you want, which can then cause another scene item to be activated in the scene. Triggers are created and defined in the behavior interface, but can activate behaviors, alternatives, shots, storyboard slide, and lighting environments. For this particular example, I will be triggering some keyframe animation that I have previously created in another tips and trick. To add a 3D trigger, go to the behavior menu, create 3D trigger, and you can associate an action with the 3D trigger. For this particular example, I will associate the behavior door play forward from start. Now you won't see the result of the trigger unless you are in presentation mode. So right now I need to switch to presentation mode in order to see what that uh, trigger is doing. I need to right click on the trigger and ask it to execute because right now I haven't identified the door to be a clickable item. To do so, I'm going to open the organizer and make sure that I select the entire door and add it to the uh, tr 3D trigger by right clicking on it and adding the selection to be a clickable item. To help visually identify the 3D trigger, I will zoom closer to my door and set the thumbnail image of this 3D trigger to be a door and rename the trigger to be door. So now I can visually identify what that 3D trigger does. Going back to presentation mode, you notice that when I have the cursor on top of the door, it changed to a little end showing that I can click on this door and it will activate the associated action in this particular example, the door behavior animation that I have previously created. Let's create another 3D trigger that will be associated with the behavior window play forward from start. Now that you know the step, I will select the window entirely, so the complete window object, and add the selection to the 3D trigger so it becomes a clickable object. I will then set the image so I have a visual reference. I'm also going to create a 3D trigger for the animated column. So first, I'm going to make sure that talk column is added as an object, so it becomes a clickable object, and then associate the uh, column animation to the trigger. Then I'm going to create a visual thumbnail by setting the column image for the 3D trigger. Notice that all the keyframe animation now have an additional little star icon to identify that these keyframe animation have a trigger association to them. So going back to presentation mode, you can now see that when I move my cursor on top of the clickable object, either the door, the window, or the column, I can click on this object and it does activate the keyframe animation associated with the clickable object or the 3D trigger. So this is a way to add interactivity in presentation mode. Keep in mind that triggers can only be used for presentation mode and will not be uh, activated if you output this as a video or as a web presentation.